Hello and welcome to our daily learning video. Today's letter is the letter O. So O looks like this. And if your name has an O, stand up. If your name has an O, stand up. If your name has an O, if your name has an O, if your name has an O, stand up. Well, that is the letter O. Today we're learning that O is for owl. And so I decorated my letter O to look like an owl. I just colored it brown and then I added a triangle for the head and some eyes for the right here on the face. And then I just added some W shapes to right here in the middle to look like some fluffy feathers. Well, now that we know what letter O looks like, we're going to learn how to write the letter O. Letter O is super duper easy. All you have to do is start at the top and then curve around and back. Curve around and back. You can sky write if you'd like to, or you can practice on your own paper or handwriting paper. So just start at the top, curve around and back curve around and right back where you started. Curve around and back, curve around and back. Now we're going to see what the little O looks like. It's the same as the big O, just start at the top and curve around and back. You're just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And if you're using handwriting paper, the little O goes downstairs, curve around, and right back, curve around and back. You try, curve around and back, curve around and back. One more, curve around and back. Well, I know you did a great job on your handwriting today, so I'm sending you a sticker. I wish I could put it on your paper. Now that we know what O looks like and how to write it, let's talk about the sound that letter O makes. Before we do though, do you think you could help me sing the vowel song? It goes like this, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. And I heard us say letter O. So O is one of those vowels. That means we're gonna get a visit from one of the vowel people today. And here he comes. Oh no, but look at O. He has a sore throat. Do you ever get a sore throat? Ouch. Well, my friend O has a sore throat and he has to go to the doctor. And the doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Can you make that sound? Open your mouth and say, ah. Well, if you look really carefully, you can see a letter O hiding in the picture. Where's the letter O? It's his mouth. His mouth looks like the letter O, but your mouth does too when you make that sound. O says, ah, and look, your mouth looks like in letter O. Make that sound and let me see those O's. O says, ah, look at all those letter O's. Well, that's what O says when it's all by itself. O says, Ah, uh, but wait a minute. I thought today we were going to learn that O is for owl. I don't hear ah uh, in the word owl. That's because of a special sound. O and W together make this sound. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Let's do that again. O and W, can you see the W? Together make this sound. Ow, did you see Miss Kathy pinch herself? Well, I'm gonna pinch you this time. Let's see if you can make that sound. O and W, here I come. Make the sound, ow. <laughs> 
Let's do it again. What does O and W together say? O and W together says, ow. So look on the board. O, W says, ow, as in owl. So owl starts with a special sound. And today, that is our letter of the daytime. You learned a special sound. Well, now we're going to do some math. And for math, we're going to be looking at some owls and we're gonna be practicing directional words. Now, I'm going to put the link below so you can get a copy of this sheet. And if you wanna pause and grab it, you can, or you can just do it with me right here on the board. I'm going to color the first owl. This owl is above the star. Can you say above? Mm -hmm. Very good, above. All right, now let's color the next owl. This owl is below the star. Can you say below? Below, good job. All right, let's color the next owl. This owl is on top of the leaf. Can you say on top of? On top of, good. The next owl is under the leaf. Can you say under? Good work, these are directional words, under. Okay, the next owl is beside, yes, but he's over on this side and this direction is called right. So he is to the right of the star. Can you say to the right? To the right. All right, let's color the next one. This owl is beside the leaf. Can you say beside? Beside, good. The next owl is also beside, but this direction is called to the left. So this owl is to the left of the star. Can you say to the left? To the left, good job. Okay, the last owl is in front of the star. Can you say in front of? in front of, good job. Well, now that we've learned all those directional words, let's use those words to describe where this owl is. So I'm gonna move him right here and you tell me, where is the owl? The owl is above the tree, above. Where is the owl? The owl is Below the tree, good, below the tree. Where is the owl? The owl is to the right. He's beside, but also to the right of the tree, to the right. Where's the owl? The owl is in front of the tree, in front. Now, where's the owl? The owl is hiding, isn't he? The owl is behind the tree, behind. Now, where is the owl? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. The owl is beside or to the left of the tree, to the left. Well, you did a great job with directional words today. And now it's time for some shape practice. We've been working on the shape sphere and I went around and gathered some things. I was so surprised at how I found spheres all over the place. Take a look at this troll. His nose looks like a sphere, <laughs> but I think there are some other things that are spheres on this troll. Remember, a sphere is like a circle, but it's not flat. That's a 2D shape. A sphere is round all the way around like a ball. Can you see another sphere? Mm -hmm. Right here at the top of his hat, that little ball is a sphere. Can you see one more? That little berry is also a sphere. Let's see what else I found. 
Ooh, I found this. This ball is a sphere, isn't it? It's round all the way around. And I also found this orange. What shape is the orange? It's a sphere. Good job. Oh, and look at this. I found an ornament. And what shape is it? It's a sphere. And what about this jingle bell, jingle bell? What shape is it? It's a sphere, good. Look what else I found, a tomato. And what shape is this tomato? It is a sphere. Mm, let's see what else did I find. Oh, I wanna show you this. And I'm gonna let you find the sphere. So I also found this, who is this? That's Mario, isn't it? Can you spot the sphere on Mario? His nose looks like a sphere. That's right, his nose looks like a sphere. Now he has some circle buttons, but his nose is round all the way around like a ball or a sphere. Well, I want you for homework today to look all around you and see if you can go on a sphere hunt today. Okay, now we're going to make an owl for our art project. And I think that he's super, super cute. I'll show you what he looks like and I'll show you how to make one. I just took a toilet roll and I pushed in the top this way and that way. And then I just glued some eyes and a little beak and some oval wings on each side. And take a look at that. He turned out to be a really cute little toilet roll owl. I added some little W's just like we did when we decorated letter O right here on the front of him. And I think that this art project today turned out really, really cute. I do have a music and movement idea, and it is to move. It's called the Owl Song, and I'll put the link below, but it's to move like an owl. So we can practice the moves right now, and then you can listen to it yourself. But it goes like this. You could fly around like an owl. So let's do that. Fly around like an owl. And then you can open your eyes really wide like an owl big and wide. Owls have big, big, big eyes. Look at your big eyes. And then you can hop along. Owls can fly, but when they're on the ground, they hop along. Hop, hop, hop. And then the last action says to turn your head and say, hoo, hoo. Now an owl can turn its head all the way back around, but not us. We're just gonna turn this way and say, hoo, and this way and say, hoo, hoo. Well, that was a pretty fun way to just stretch and get a little brain break. Now I wanna tell you some things about real owls. Take a look at these pictures. Wow, did you know that owls lay eggs just like all birds do? This is a baby owl. A baby owl is called an owlet. This is a grown up owl. Owls have big eyes that can see in the dark. They have a sharp beak for tearing food. Owls have ears on the side of their heads that can hear very well. Now, can you spot the ears? You might be looking at these and they do look like ears, but actually those are just tufts of feathers. The ears are on the side of the owl's head and we can't even see them. Owls have fluffy feathers that are very quiet when they fly. If an owl flew past you at night, you probably wouldn't even know because they're super duper quiet. Owls are awake at night. We call them nocturnal. Can you say nocturnal? Owls are awake at night hunting and they eat small bugs and small, or they eat bugs and small animals. Owls have two parts to their stomach, one for digestion and the other which holds items such as bones, fur, teeth, and feathers. That's called a gizzard. Well, when this gizzard is full, the owl spits it up. 
an owl can spit up this pellet. It's called an owl pellet. And if you look inside of this owl pellet, it will give you some clues about what the owl had for dinner. Can you see some little bones and teeth and fur? I just bet this owl has been munching on a little mouse for its dinner. I'll put a link below so that you can order some owl pellets if you'd like to dissect them or cut them open and see what the owl has been eating. Well, before we say goodbye, let's read a story together. It's about three owl babies. Owl Babies by Martin Waddell and Patrick Benson. Once there were three owl babies, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night, they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh, goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. <laughs> but their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll be here with mice and all kinds of nice things, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all oh, owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah, and they did all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. <gasps> and she came! Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. <laughs> the end. Well, I hope you've had some fun with letter O today and owls. I'll see you next time for letter P. P is for potatoes. See you then. Goodbye.